Well, a team of students at UW Bothell is trying to reinvent the technology that helps amputees move prosthetic limbs. They think they've come up with a way to help people design and build a new hand much cheaper than what's currently available. Here's King 5's Ted Land. This is a system that could drastically change life for people who've had an amputation, especially people who cannot afford expensive prosthetics. I'm in a lab at UW Bothell, and students have been working on this setup you see in front of you for about the past year. They bought this equipment online on Amazon for less than $1,000. This armband here can tell which way I'm moving my hand. It runs those signals through a pretty affordable little computer into a prosthetic hand that they 3D printed. It's kind of primitive now, not a very sophisticated system. But what they're doing is putting all of this information, their blueprints, their designs, online for free. And they're hoping other people out there in the world will pick up on this and then develop these plans into a prosthetic that could cost uh, maybe $6,000 instead of $60,000. They haven't invented a new technology, but what they've succeeded in doing is recreating a technology that's usually very expensive. Kind of sort of like Legos. You can go out and buy any Lego kit and make whatever you want with it. It doesn't have to be what, what uh, it was designed to do. You could see it only does maybe four different movements now. If I move my hand to the right, it'll twist. I can move it back to the left, clench the fist, and then open it just like that. Again, this is a work in progress. They hope that other people will develop more sophisticated commands and make life a lot better for people who cannot afford often very expensive prosthetics. At UW Bothell, Ted Land, King 5 News. I'm off.